Hello everyone, my name is Ijoma Uchibi and on this channel I talk about human resource related content and its intersection with the law. Now today, <laughs> I'm laughing but I'm not laughing because I'm quite upset about what I'm about to say but I will try to be very calm and drive home this conversation. Now, I'm relaxing, right? The question I want to ask is, as a HR professional, an employee walks into your office to tell you that they will be needing the services of a therapist or they will need to see a psychologist for a mental health issue. Not because it's affecting their productivity, they have come to you because they feel HR should know. How would you react to that person? I want to know what you think and what you would do in the comment section. Now I saw something on Instagram that caught me quite upset because I don't want to put myself out there as a mental health advocate but once or twice we've had occasions where I've had to you know, go for therapy and I think in Nigeria where there's a bit of a stigma when you tell people you go for therapy there's this eye they give you like oh my god she's cuckoo she's not cuckoo trust me people who go for therapy are more likely to do a better job at whatever role they occupy in your organization, the people that try to internalize what it is that they are going through. Number one, I saw this on Republic Journal. You can see the post there. Where an employee said she went to meet the HR and told them about their mental health illness. And the HR not only informed the management of the company, they relieved this person of her duties and was even threatened that the company would sue her if she made any issue about it. To say that I was disappointed is an understatement because I am thinking, okay, there's a reason why you are the HR professional. We have gotten to a point where people distrust us. People don't bring office gossip to you because they think you are too harsh, they think you are like siding with management. And this person walked up the courage to walk into your office and tell you like, this is how you treat them. Now, you, I'm closing the door to any employee coming to meet HR for anything because of that singular action. Because it is going to reverberate throughout the organization that, oh, this woman got me sad. If you're having issues, find a way to just go for your therapy. And if it affects your job too much, better still resign and leave. Because there's every likelihood that they will hold this against you and if care is not taken they have a, an opportunity to give you a reference they might put that in your record and it shouldn't be so employees should be able to walk into your office as a HR professional and be confident that not necessarily that all their issues are going to be resolved in one fell swoop but they should be assured of your confidentiality for goodness sakes I, for one, have had situations where I've had conversations with employees. One, just straight up told me she wanted me to recommend the therapist. Why would she want me to do that if she had not seen me being open about it, being open to help, not just in words, but in action? I have had that conversation with almost every colleague in my office. Everyone knows if you are my therapy, big deal. If you think I am crazy, you are entitled to your own opinion. But well, it doesn't make me less of a person. So I think maybe that was what she saw. And she felt, oh, okay, if Joma can do this and still do her job, and it's not a big deal for her, maybe I can also reach out to her and tell her, okay, I'm feeling pangs of depression. Do you have anyone you could recommend that I could speak to? And I went ahead to do You can always follow up to ensure that not only is this person getting the adequate care they need, from that particular um, professional but if they are not satisfied with the attention or the way their matters have been addressed they can seek the services of another person that may in fine may look like you are trying to get too involved in the matter but i would rather you get involved in the matter of the employee because at the end of the day his or her of Productivity might affect your meeting your organizational goals. Now, do you see how important that employee working to your office to trust you with that kind of information should not be tolerated? And this is not whether the employee is a productive one or an employee that is lagging behind or having his productivity suffering because of those issues. 
all I'm trying to say is please and please, if you have had opportunities to have this discussion with your employees, I beg you in the name of God. Apart from the fact that if that employee is relieved from his or her duty, they have a right to take you guys to court. They have a protection under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, what we have is not a legislation of mental health. Considering the fact that times have changed, we should not be relying on the Lunacy Act of 1958 for COVID-19. And knowing that the legislation that was actually raised on the floor of the House, that was in 2003, we know what's going on. 18 years later, it's yet to be passed into functional legislation dealing with or legislating on mental health. But then again, you cannot wake up and say you are relieving an employee of his or her duties because they have in confidence come to meet you as a nature professional to say you can advise the person to seek help and that is where you come in if you have the resources or you know that there are movements that are available to attend to this kind of needs please and please refer them to. let it be documented that this was done and they did not get better and it affected their productivity and ultimately but not that they came to meet you and that is a right of action for them, and they, it will stand in court. But most importantly, I also wanted to put it out today that as much as possible, with everything going around, we should try, if we can, in our spare time as HR professionals, to check out the National Industrial Court of Nigeria's website. There are thousands of judgments, new judgments coming up, so that you don't fall foul of the law where you are trying to protect the company that you belong to because what you think is oh you getting rid of this uh, employee by terminating the appointment or terminating the contract of employment is going to come to you because you are telling the management that it is okay to treat employees that way so i hope with uh, these few things i've spoken to in this video you let me know in the comment section what you think was the hr professional right in what she did do you think it's not a big deal and I should shut up about it or do you think she shouldn't have done what she did let me know in the comment section but like on the way next time on another topic related to the child I may be off for like a month because the SPHRI exam is close by and uh, your girl has to go and read <laughs> but don't forget to look up other videos I've talked about, other topics. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. I really look forward to your engagement both on YouTube and on LinkedIn and via email too. Don't forget to share. Share this good news abroad. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right now. But like going away after the exams, I hope I don't see more than a month. After the exams, don't forget to stay safe guys. Corona is still in town. We cannot get to a point where we get so careless. All the it has been declared that there is no more pandemic. Please guys, stay safe. Stay safe, I beg you. Talk to you guys later.